Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another CDA Tweaks video. In today's video I have another new tweaks to share with you guys. So if you guys are using the iOS 11 up to 12.4 those CDA Tweaks will be for you. Anyway before I'm gonna be start today's video let me ask you guys to give the video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new CDA Tweaks video. Let me go ahead right now to start talking about the first one and the first one will be called the Fast App Repo 2. This will be pretty much once you launch your CDA, this will be refresh your sources or the repo that you have in your jailbroken device much faster. So if you're looking to refresh or you just launch your CDA, this will be speed up the process a little bit. And as I told you guys, will be refresh all the sources that you have in your iDevice much faster. So if you're talking about what we have under the settings the only thing that you need to do to just enable the tweak and you will be good to go this is what pretty much the tweak is going to be talking about it and this is how the tweak will be looks like anyway if you want to do that the same thing speed up your refresh uh, or sources in your jello broken device go ahead and download the fast up repo too let me move right now to talking about the second one and the second one will be called the CDA 2X. So you notice right now once you launch your CDA application, this is how it's going to be your home. It will give you some new and additional information. For example, if you want to jump right away to check on your packages here or your sources, even if you want to check on your device info, even if you want to check about some other home things that you want to check on it. So this is what pretty much that week how is it gonna be looks like let me just check here on my packages how is that will be looks like so you can see right now that will be give us some additional information and you can check in each single one if you want to check on the view old home which is gonna be for Cydia just like that if you want to go back here check on some information you can do that and you will be able to do that as i told you guys this will be allow you to check on your sources your home your info the device info as i told you guys this is what pretty much this week is going to be all about and if we go ahead and talk about what we have under the settings there is nothing to configure just go ahead and download that week and this is how is that week will be looks like once you launch your cedia application anyway this one will be called the cedia 2x Let's go ahead right now to jump in talking about the next one and the next one will be called the Hidden Settings 12. This will be giving you a much uh, customized stuff and some other information in your jailbroken device. So how you can launch that. So once you download the tweak easily just go ahead and swipe in your status bar just like that and this is how is the all information you will be have it here right now so one of the information if you want to play for example in your control center your modules if you want to play in your lock screen home screen your widget if you want to uh, customize some other things on your icon or talking about the uh, refreshing on your home screen and you can take a look right now how is that will be looks like it's too much stuff that comes with that tweak you can take a look right now for example if i top here on my lock screen you can see that additional information will be came here that will be allow you if you want to customize some stuff playing around with some things on your jello broken device you will be able using that tweak so just giving you guys example here as well this is the wallpaper here if you want to replace the blurs you can toggle that right away from here as i told you guys this is looks like system wide so you can playing around in your device using that tweak as i told you this will be came with different kind of stuff so you need to be careful don't play uh, with a lot of things in your device and then you will be mess up your device so you need to make sure to understand what's going on and then after that you can set everything that you would like to 
in that tweak so once you're done just go ahead and top here at the top done and you will be get back to your device anyway as i told you guys this is will be allow you to customize different kind of things in your jailbroken device if you guys want to download this one as i told you guys this one will be allow you to enable or hide most of things in your jailbroken device so this one will be called hidden settings 12. Let me go ahead right now and jump to my lock screen so you guys can take a look for that kind of moving widget. This is a iPhone 4S on my lock screen right now. So this is a widget called Spinning i4. And this is how is that widget will be provide you with, will be bring that kind of 4 or 4S style in your jailbroken device you need to make sure this one is not going to be work in your supreme board this is only working on your lock screen if you want to bring this one and set this one in your lock screen you need to make sure to have the xm html in order to place this one in your lock screen once again if you guys looking to download this one and get this one in your lock screen go ahead and download the spinning i4 so anyway guys this is the most week that i want to share with you guys in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget give the video a huge thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new video catch you with the next one peace